On February the 23rd, 1957, a man was checking his musk rat traps in the woods of Susquehanna Road in Fox Chase, Philadelphia, when he came across a baby bassinet box with a dead body in it. Knowing that musk rat traps were illegal, the man decided against reporting the body. Two days later, a college student named Frederick Benosis was spying on girls at the Good Shepherd School when he too came across the body. Benosis was also reluctant to notify the police, but a day later, he nonetheless reached out to the authorities. The body was that of a young child who has since become known as the boy in the box, as well as America's unknown child. The boy was completely naked and his hands and feet were wrinkled as if he'd been submerged into water before he died. Furthermore, his esophagus contained a dark substance, suggesting he may have vomited shortly before he died, the cause of which appeared to be several blows to his head. Surprisingly, even though the case attracted significant media attention, no one ever came forward to identify the boy. However, progress was made in 2002 when a psychiatrist contacted the authorities with information regarding the case. The psychiatrist claimed that a patient of hers, a woman named Mary, confided that her parents had bought America's unknown child and used him as a sex toy. According to Mary, her mother had been bathing the boy when he suddenly threw up. Angered, Mary's mother beat him to death. Mary claimed that she accompanied her mother to northeast Philadelphia woods, where they wrapped the boy in a blanket, placed him in a box, and left him there. The investigators were convinced that Mary was telling the truth, even if she was mentally unstable. However, when Mary's name leaked to the press, she left the country and no further efforts have been made to investigate the curious case of America's unknown child. <laughs>